Did you know that you don't need birds to find tuna? Massive bait ball. It is a bit of a myth. So much bait around. You'd think there'd be some tuna there. Hopefully, this short video will teach you what a flutter is, how to find it, and increase your chances of catching some tuna. A flutter is what you can see on the top of the surface when there's either a bait ball or a school of tuna around. It makes the water look like it's a little bit strange. Oh, and by the way, a flutter is what we call it on Team Just a Girl. Now that's a flutter. When you see a flutter, if you drive around the outside, then you're going to be able to share it with your buddy. If you drive straight through it, you will send all the fish to the bottom, you will separate the bait, and everybody loses. We've found a spreader bar really helpful because it does tend to bring those schools of fish a little bit closer to the top. We use this one by TSH, so give James a call at Troll So Hard Lures and he can sort you out. Sometimes a flutter is not always obvious, but you know what I found? The more you see them and the more you look for them, the more you can find them. So just have some patience and have a go. Tuna love to swim in circles. They love nothing more. And if you get that circle wrong on the surface, it's very hard to get the fish into your net. So make sure that you keep the fish in the direction that it's happy in. You'll find it all comes together then. Now we've got the circle right, she should come straight round and straight into the net. Looking for birds is fun, but it's not the only way to spot tuna. If you look for flutters, you will also find a fish. This next video shows you all about flutters.